and welcome to another episode of Stalker Modeling Basics. In this episode, we'll be having a look at some shaders, specifically model shaders, in the actor editor. Before we start, I'd like to clarify that everything you are watching right now comes from personal experience. With that out of the way, let's get to it. First, let's take a closer look to our knife. To move in the viewport, hold shift, then click left to move forward and backwards. Click right to move up and down. Both clicks in order for you to rotate. Now, select shaders. If you imported a new model, you will see the default shader. Now go to models. In here, you will find different type of shaders, but what we need in this case is model. This is the main game shader. It's perfect for character models. The model RF is the same as the main shader. However, it adds transparency. For example, if you have an alpha in your texture, the model RF is perfect for that. However, I do recommend that you use the model fur. The reason is that the transparency is a bit thicker, which will add some depth to it. But you will be the judge, depending on the type of model that you are using. For example, if you have a ghillie suit on your character, the model fur is much better for my personal experience. The model human shader is pretty much the same as the main shader. To be honest with you, I did not see much of a difference between the two. Use the weapon shader for, you've guessed it, weapons. As you can see in the viewport, it has a cube map, meaning that it reflects the world around it in-game. In compile, there is default and default smooth. However, I did not see any difference between the two, so keep it default. In the game MTL, change it to default underscore object. One last note, do not hesitate and experiment. The X-Ray SDK is a weird engine. Trust me, you'd be surprised, so don't hesitate. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time, stalkers.